books, literature, uh, or material that has inspired me. Um, I, I don't read much uh, fiction, haven't done for, for many years, although in my early years I did. But I, uh, I kind of settled on reading uh, stuff about uh, endurance, adventure, um, you know, ultra marathon runners, great, great bikers, whether it be racing, touring, or, or just trekking. And uh, I, I don't really do it for the inspiration. I've, I've got the inspiration, but they do stoke the fire. And uh, I mean, for instance, um, th this was a, a brilliant one. There's a book called, not many people know it, it's a book called Ultimate High. I don't know if you ever heard this guy, uh, Goran Kropp. And he was the one that uh, built a special bike and cycled from Sweden to uh, base camp, uh, well, to Everest, um, and then got up to base camp, parked his bike, climbed Everest uh, without oxygen, came down the mountain, and cycled back to Sweden. I mean, uh, that's an incredible thing. There's, I read a lot of uh, uh, Jill Homer. I don't know if you've ever heard of Jill Homer. Um, she's got a, a I, I read her, her stuff uh, pretty much on a daily basis. She, uh, She's done the Iditarod uh, in Alaska, uh, I think the 350 miler and the 1,000 miler these days, in temperatures down to like minus 50. Quite incredible, really. Um, I actually uh, nearly had enough money to do that. I signed up for the training camp. You have to go on a survival training camp, how you can survive in the snow at minus 40 or 50. Um, but anyway, money and time caught me up, and I, I couldn't get there. But she's also done the, uh, the one I've been obsessing about for years is the Tour Divide. It goes from, it's bike ride, goes from Banff, Canada, right down uh, on the spine of the Rockies, the, uh, the, the, the Great Divide, and finishes in New Mexico. That's about 2,700 miles. That's been a huge obsession of mine for years. And recently I fall in love with, uh, there's a race in Australia. Um, well, first of all, the book was called Overlander by Rupert Guinness, and it's about all the guys that started opening up the, the routes in Australia by bike in the late 1800s, the early 1900s. They'd cycle from like Perth when it was a, a village uh, to Sydney, you know, like 3,300 miles across dirt tracks and another ball plane. And now there's a race, the Indy Pack, that goes from Perth to Sydney. Um, and it's a cult race, all these things, Tour Divide, Indie Pack, you just turn up at the start, third Saturday in March, or the second Saturday in June in Banff, and you kick off with the rest, and you, there's no numbers, there's no medals, you, you just have a spot tracker, and off you go. And on, on that thing, I've stopped boring you silly, but the last one, this is a brilliant one, the first man I was going to say, but the only man, he skateboarded across Australia, Perth to, uh, um, well, eventually ended up at Sydney on his skateboard. Can you imagine that? Uh, but it's just a great tale of, I mean, he did it for charity. He, he didn't do it because he was bored. And my God, what he went through. Uh, but it's things like that. They, they are inspiring.